Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you're new here, hi, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today I'm gonna be unboxing and swatching the new Urban Decay Mini on the Run palettes. I received all three of them from Urban Decay, so thank you so much to Urban Decay for sending me these. I will leave all of that information down below in the description box, so please don't forget to check that. And while you're there, please subscribe to my channel and let's get started with this video. So in Inspired by the Born to Run palette and the Born to Run collection, they came out with these three palettes. And we have Bailout, Detour, and Shortcut. And as you can see, these are these little mini palettes, and I am in love with this outer packaging. They did the logo in three different colors. We have this reddish color, this blue tealish color, and then we have this purplish color. So I really, really love these packaging. I don't even want to get rid of them. You guys will see in my um, empties videos, I always get rid of boxes, but I really want to keep these ones, and I really love them. And then on the back, as always, Urban Decay shows you the shade names and then which shades are in each palette and that is for each one so we can see there's a really nice range of colors and I just love that they're so compact and mini I actually keep one of the mini heat palettes in a makeup pouch in my purse they're just so easy and convenient to travel with so let's open up these beauties and get to some swatches okay so first I'm gonna swatch the bailout palette and the bailout palette is sort of these neutral shades with a couple darker purples and some lighter purples and and then we have some nice shimmers. So a little about these palettes on the back. It also says here, a weekend getaway, love. Packing on the other hand sucks. Luckily, we took the guesswork out of your makeup bag with this mini version of the Born to Run palette. Designed to bail you out of nearly any situation. On the run, travels light but doesn't skip on looks. This eight pan palette is loaded with go-to cocoa neutrals plus a bright purple hue and an iridescent violet transformer shade to switch up any look or add a little ice. So the descriptions are a little different so I'll just read like the bottom portion on the next one for you guys so that's what it says on the back and then we have the shades and the colors and then all around just the name of the palette and then ingredients and then other helpful information and the inside is also really nice we see that born to run sort of design on the inside as well and then here is what bailout looks like it's this beautiful purple color on the back it says bailout on the run palette and then we have some more information that it's an eyeshadow palette the website and then things of that nature and then on the inside you have this beautiful mirror it's quite large if I must say so myself and then we have these beautiful eight shades in here so we're gonna go ahead and swatch these so the first color I'm going to swatch is the shade rebound and this is a matte brown color this is what it looks like so that should swatch fairly nicely on my skin tone that is a nice brown shade and then next we have faith which is a lighter brown and that is another matte shade. That's what it looks like right there. And then next to Faith on the left, we have Bailout, the main star of this palette. That is what Bailout looks like. And then on the top row, all the way to the left, we have a Skimp. That is the shade right here. Very pretty color. And then on the bottom row, we have a lot of shimmers and metallics. So we're gonna start on the left side with Chopper. This is a beautiful coppery shade. So this is a chopper. This is such a beautiful color. And then we have double up to the right of chopper. Very pretty shade. And then to the right of double up, we have pick up. This is pick up. That's really pretty. And then to the right of pick up, we have vice. And I'm going to swatch vice right here. Very pretty colors. I really love these colors for a brown skin tone. Very pretty. And then we're going to swatch the next palette. So the next palette we're going to swatch is a Shortcut. And it has sort of the red logo, red color right here. This 8 pan palette is loaded with go-to blush tone neutrals, a hand-picked rose hue, and an iridescent pink transformer shade to switch up any look or add a little ice. So we have some really deep rose colors, pink colors, and then some really nice blush tones. So I think I'm really going to love this palette and then the other one was sort of that purpley color this one is a pinkish color and again we have a beautiful mirror quite big which I really love and then here are what the shades look like let's go ahead and swatch this the first shade is all the way on the left and it is the color sin very pretty and then we have a matte color called lace 
very light color. It's almost hard to see it on my skin tone, so I'm gonna swatch it again so you can see. Very light color, but it's a beautiful shade. And then we have Shortcut. So these colors are really pretty. They're just showing up really light on my skin tone. And then we have After Hours, which is sort of a grayish tone. I really love the After Hours color. Next, I'm gonna swatch Back Alley. That's the shade right here. And then this shade is gorgeous. This is the shade Rendezvous. How stunning is that? This is a really beautiful color. And then I am really digging this shade. This is a Gash. How stunning is that? That is so pretty. Now, the last color here is called Zone. So these are the eight colors for Shortcut. We have some really deep, beautiful, sort of rosy colors, and then some really light blush tones, which are really light on my skin tone right here, but I think once we start creating an eye look and really blend these colors with the other ones, they'll be really beautiful. And now let's go ahead and swatch the last palette, Detour. So for Detour, this eight pan palette is loaded with go-to Sienna Neutrals, a hand-picked teal hue, and an iridescent and lime transformer shade to switch up any look or add so as you can see we have some brown shades, we have some blue shades, and then a sort of almost reddish or brownish color. So I'm excited to swatch this one. This one is sort of that teal bluish color. And we have the mirror just like all the other palettes. And then these are our eight beautiful shades. So we're going to start with Off the Grid, which is sort of a whitish shade almost. That would give a really nice pop of color right here in the inner eye. Then we have Dash. Next is Escape, which is a really light shade, but it's really pretty to sort of transition from shades and to really build up color in your crease. We have Detour. We have 16th Street. Confidential. And then this is that really awesome Transformer shade. How stunning is that? This is called Switchback, by the way. Super beautiful. I really love that shade. And then the last color in this palette is called Plunge. And that's the shade right here. That is such a stunning color. I really love that. That is like a true teal color. So pretty. All right, so all of the palettes are absolutely stunning, but I'm really feeling the colors in Detour. So we're gonna use Detour to create our eye look today. So as you guys can tell already, my entire face is already done. I've actually contoured and did everything to my face. So all that is left really is just to do my eye makeup. So I am actually going to apply some of the Peter Thomas Roth Hyaluronic Cloud Hydrogel eye patches underneath my eyes to sort of hydrate them and give them some more brightness and then by the time we're done with our eye look then we'll take them off. I usually leave these on for about 30, 30 to 40 minutes. So I went ahead and popped those on both eyes. That should help me get a really sharp straight line for my eyeshadow. Next I'm going to go ahead and apply some concealer to my eyes. This is the Avocado Concealer by First Aid Beauty. We're just going to go ahead and dab some on both eyes. And then taking my Beauty Sponge by Morphe, we're just going to go ahead and dab that in. And then I do have my powder today, guys, my loose powder. This is from Kat Von D. I'm going to go ahead and dust that onto my eyes to set it and to get it really matte. As always, the brushes are listed down below. I use a variety of them, so it's just easier to list them down below. And the first color we're going to start with is this one right here, and this is the color Detour. Go ahead and start to work this color in your crease, so right here. So this color looks fairly light in the palette, but it's coming off a little darker on my crease, which I'm actually really loving. So now that we've worked that into our crease, I'm gonna go ahead and take Confidential and I'm gonna start to buff that on my outer lid right here. We're gonna put a little concealer on the inner corner of our lid right here. So I really want this color to pop that I'm going to put right here. I'm going to take one of my flat brushes and I'm really going to neatly apply that. So the final piece for this look is adding the color Dash on the inner corner where we applied the concealer. You're just going to go ahead and pat that on right there.
And taking the first brush that we use, we're just gonna go ahead and blend everything to make sure it looks seamless. Blend, blend, blend. You guys always ask me how you guys can make your eyeshadow look really seamless and flawless. The key really is to just blend. Make sure you're blending like crazy. That's how you're gonna get a really beautiful and seamless eye look. That is it for my eyeshadow. I'm gonna go ahead and do a thin line of eyeliner and then we're also gonna do some lashes today. So I'm going to go ahead and apply some lashes. I'm just putting some of the MGS Accessories Lash Glue onto MGS Accessories Lashes. And these are in the style Jaipur. They're a little more dramatic, a little more full, but you can still wear them for every day. These are one of my favorite styles. Pretty much all of them are my favorite style. I'm just making sure that I'm putting extra glue on the ends. I always recommend this to everyone when putting lashes on. Put extra on the ends because that is where they really need to stick and for me personally that's where I have the most trouble sticking my lashes. We're gonna wait for about 30 to 60 seconds and while we are waiting for that I'm just gonna go ahead and put a quick coat of mascara on my lashes and I'm gonna do the bottom as well and this is the better than sex mascara. This is a limited edition one that has the diamonds so to say or the sparkles on it. Now taking the MGS Beauty MGS Accessories Lash Tool, I'm going to go ahead and pick up the lash and we're going to go ahead and apply that onto our lashes and take your time with this, there's no rush. Use a lash applicator to help me pretty much most of the way. Sometimes I'll go ahead and just place it on my lash and then take my fingers and then go back and we'll set it. Today it's working out just using that lash applicator so I'm just gonna keep doing that. And then just set it in place like so. I'm gonna do a little on top just so that my real lashes and my falsies blend together. Alright beauties, here is my eye look using the Urban Decay Mini Detour Palette. I really hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial and eye look using the palette. I will do another video using these two other palettes, but if you are considering them or if you love the Born to Run palette, I highly recommend these ones because these are just mini versions of that and there's so many beautiful colors that you can play with. So I highly recommend these palettes. They're super pigmented. If you've tried them out or if you've received them, please let me know what you're thinking. And if they're on your wish list, let me know which palette is on your wish list. And I'll catch you soon for a new video.